Alright, hello guys, this is Skullboy back again. I have another tutorial here that was, I suppose, I would say semi requested by Exophile that will cover effects. Pretty much basic effects in your map. If you want something more advanced, you'll have to look into it yourself, but this is pretty basic in the sense that we can use this to play effects like fire, any kind of looping effects. So, essentially, I have a script stroke and a barrel here to play kind of like a fire effect. And if I press N to bring up this, you see that I have a target name, and that's pretty basic. That's pretty much what we use to grab. The entity, or not, well, this is an entity, so we won't call it an entity, but essentially to grab it in script. And then we have a script string, which is essentially is what I'll use to define what effects to play. And that is here the level underscore effect that we give to the effect. And it'll play this. So without the quotes, that's it there. And that's all play. So essentially, we have two of them. I have one here, I have one up here. And they're both the same. They both play the same. So, that's the Radiant Power stuff done. You can have multiple of them. You can have different script strings. You can have different effects. But that's the basic in Radiant of what you need if you wanted to do something very basic. Which is what you usually do because maybe in effects, it's just effects that plays. So, I don't really need an over-the-top function to do it or anything big. So, we can save that. And I'll close our Radiant. And I'll compile it in a few minutes. And... Like I said, you have your effects here. That should be pretty basic on how to do it. You just add it there by level underscore fee effect. Give it a little ID or something to define it as. And then define your effects by load effects. And up here is where I start doing the stuff. So here for uh, getting structs, you don't use get end. Because like I said, they're technically not entities. You use get struct array, which is a utility function. And you essentially just enter. It's just, it's, the function is similar to get end in that the parents are the same. So we don't need anything different. All you need to know is that instead of get enter array, you use get struct array. And we're going to have a basic for loop here that will loop through the array and run this function down here in each one. So if you don't, if you're not sure of stuff like for loops, I highly recommend looking up some JavaScript tutorials or even C++ tutorials. The stuff like that is very similar in each in GSC and in those. So you can look up tutorials on them because stuff like that is very similar. And then down here is the function I play, where I play the effects, sorry. So you can see I have here play effects, which is an engine function. And if you want information, I'll have a link below to a UGX script reference. And you see I have a level of underscore effect and it's the script string I've defined, which on the two of them was the fire barrel. And then of course it'll play the origin of the script struct, which is automatically defined by every time you move it around or if you place it. So you don't need to worry about that. So that's the basics of it, and of course you want to have this in a FF, so to sh quickly show you to do that, if I pull up launcher here, you can either add it to your map names, or you can put it in your mod.ff, for the basics of this, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to put it into my mod.ff, and I already have, I have it right here, so you essentially do fx, to define this as an fx asset type, and then a little comma, and then your fx, and you don't need the dot .ef, e FX, I think, is the extension. If it is, you don't need the extension anywhere, whatever it is. So, that should be the basics of it. And I'm just going to go compile to show you in game. So, I'll be back in a sec. Alright, so we're in game now, and everything is showing up fine. You can see the effect shows up nice. And it also shows up down here. And of course, if I even had another effect set up with a completely different script string, it would work fine, which it has done. I've tested that. <laughs> so, Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helped you. This is a pretty basic thing for playing effects and will work pretty nicely. It is an over the top and, you know, pretty much fits the needs for a very basic requirement. So, if it helped you, hope it did. Good. And see you there. Bye.